Hey everyone, C. Wilson here. Today, we'll be going over the capabilities of the Surface Pro X for an artist and tell you if it's really worth it. So, sit back while I do a quick unboxing before we get into it and enjoy some music. Alright everybody, I have everything set up and before we get into this, first thing we're going to talk about is the price. Now the price of this Surface Pro that I, X that I'm using right now, I have the 16GB RAM version with 512GB uh, of storage. The price of this is $1,619, very expensive. The base model is the 8GB, 128GB of storage for $899. Now for this, this is uh, quite an expensive device, uh, but the hardware that you get with this is beautiful. And then the next thing, even though they showed off Adobe Fresco for the Surface Pro X, when they first announced the device, is currently not compatible with this. So. As you can see, these are the Surface devices that are compatible. So with that out the way, let's also talk about the new Surface Slim Pin. Now this Slim Pin, it, it, it's a little different. I, I kind of wish it was um, a middle ground where they actually made the old Surface Pin kind of a blend between the two. Cause what's kind of hard is, is, is that this is flat. So it, it's, I guess it is good in a way because uh, it can fit with the keyboard. But the other problem is, is uh, with this keyboard that I have, I didn't realize, but the standard keyboard does not come with the, the dock where you can actually put this pin in. So I have a keyboard with no actual place to put this. So then I actually try to like put it on the back because the back has magnets. Doesn't say too well. And the next problem with that is the, the, the pin holder itself is USB-C to the older USB-C. Well, not USB-C, USB-A, I believe it is, which presents a problem because uh, this device itself only has two USB-C ports. Mm, so you would think that they would put the dock having a USB-C to USB-C, but I guess you can go out and buy your own cord for that. So with that being said, the screen size it's the same, th this body is the same as the Surface Pro all the way down, well, besides I think the Surface Pro like three or two, but the screen is bigger, so it feels much, much bigger. You're getting so much more screen real estate in the same body. It is just as heavy though, so it, it can be deceiving. So, moving on to that, I would like to talk about the actual body of this. So this device, uh, the black model right here, it, um, the black model I have actually 
has a nick. I'm, you probably can't see it, but it's right here. And I actually haven't did anything too strenuous with this device at all. And to have a nick right there is actually kind of concerning since I haven't really used a device like that for to have those type of type of marks on there but it's still a beautiful device and I like how it looks so let's go ahead and get into the applications for this app availability you already know if you're buying this it comes with an arm processor with that arm I believe sq1 Microsoft processor it limits the capability of this device severely <laughs> you can't put Sketchbook Pro on here from the App Store, but Microsoft has pushed out an update that now enables it not to show those incompatible apps within the Microsoft Store. So that's a plus. Now, Clip Studio Paint. One of my favorite programs for drawing, especially with the tablet like the Surface. So using this i was going to go ahead and do a test load with uh you know picking a pretty hefty size brush we'll go with a 400 size brush and just showing you how if it can keep up and as you can see it's eh, it's iffy it's not the greatest taking it down some to 50 it's a little bit better. So if, if you're using huge brushes on this program, it will start to lag. And going up a little bit more again, as you can see, but pin pressure is there. If you press hard, you will get those hard lines. If you lighten up your touch a little bit, you will get the light lines, which is perfect. And as far as drawing and inking, I went ahead and did a few quick test drawings on here. And here's one of my test drawings, as you can see. Using the program works flawless, as usual, in my opinion. Besides, you know, zooming in and out isn't as smooth as it would be on something like my Surface Book, but it still gets the job done. Using the new pen, it feels great. So you can really get those lines that you're looking for on there. These are just me just trying to show you pin latency, which is fairly good, fairly good. It's um little, uh, I, once you get used to using this pin and granted it only took me probably like a day or two to get adjusted, it actually starts to feel a little bit better than what the old pin felt like. So look, if you look at this, the uh, latency in here is great. It's it almost using Clip Paint Studio. It feels like you're getting that iPad Pro feel, dare I say. And also, keep in mind this is also compatible with this pen is compatible with all the other surfaces as well. So you can get this pen separately. And that was uh, just showing you a little quick demonstration. Clip Studio Paint. Now, another program that's kind of sneaked up on me that I kind of like is Concepts. Concepts, once again, great program. Changing the size of the brush, try to stress the system out. You can see, Concepts, flawless. Pressing hard, it renders that. Unsure about that uh, tilt pressure on there, but it feels like that's there. I did the uh, same thing have a little test drawing that I did right here and using the pen go with a size 8 brush it's uh actually let's make that a bigger brush size 16 maybe so using this pen going in we'll go with dynamic it's is just this application is just as good as Clip Paint Studio, and it's a little bit better when it comes to touch functionality. So pin, zero latency problems on here. You can really, really draw well with this program. Even uh, zooming in and out, turning around, everything, it, it moves fairly quick. You can really uh, move in there, get everything that you're looking for to get done. You can move it around. There's slight, slight lag on here, but 
as you can see image popping in and out but in general it's pretty good for this device now i want to say that once they start getting everything up for the arm processor if they do this seems like a great device now moving to the next application on here we're going to go ahead and move over to another one medi bang pink not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but just to show a little hard load on here works excellent even a hard press works well did a test drawing on all these programs just to let you all know now i'm not a uh, big user of this program but i can tell you that it actually does work pretty solid you don't have any problems using this program at all you can see no problems generally everything is running quite well on here and i wish i could uh figure out where the actual inking tool is ah there we go there's a g pen right here and i was saying i'm looking for the inking tool so go ahead make a new layer oh and by the way i'm this is a 300 dpi on here 300 dpi across the board on all applications that i'm using and yeah this is uh really smooth no problems using it and i'm liking how this program is with the surface pro x have no problems at all using this one now just to uh test it out let's see if uh what is it called the uh zoom in does work but it's quite laggy on that part pretty sure you can see that it's it's not really keeping up with the system it's, but trying to get everything to work it, it is usable though and moving on to illustrator fairly good program uh, where's my pen now yeah, will paintbrush responds quite fast and but it does have a a little bit of a lag in there as well so let's go ahead and change my workspace which is a little annoying but uh let's go to essentials classic so you can see go to layers uh where layers are starting to hide on me uh, so let's go to sensual there we go layers take that off did a test drawing on this one as well and illustrator it can work it, it does work but problem that i have with illustrator is it actually really is laggy on here a lot of things that you can do are handicapped by how much lag is in here but you if you if you will it <laughs> i guess you could say that if you uh will it to be done then it can be done sorry for that loud noise but uh let's go ahead turn up the smoothness because as you can see still quite laggy on here sorry for the noise again but yes it's a fine program you can get things done and oddly enough brush size not changing but you can get things done it's just you feel like you're working against the program more than anything last but not least a lot of people talk about photoshop i was able to do some drawing in photoshop not the best not really photoshop person but it works fairly good let's change that brush size do a little stress test on there for you all so you can see before it starts lagging out on you now pretty big brush let's go ahead uh make it a bigger brush let's see so yeah it's pretty good 
Now, I do, I'm not, I do not like drawing in Photoshop. It's because it, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's one of those ones that I, I have not got used to. Clip Studio Paint Guy, all the way on that one. But just to show you all, the pen still works great. You still can get those uh, consistent lines that you look for in any program and you know it's it's fairly good and just like you see you can get all those lines the way you like it but once again touch function now nah, maybe i'm doing something wrong but it doesn't work for me now moving on to the next one oh and by the way if you um have any other programs you want me to test out just go ahead and let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. So in this one right here, it, it, this is a paint tool side. Problem I have is maybe someone knows how to fix this, but the tools are so small, but using it, I actually can draw fairly good in this program. I, I don't know what's up with some of the stuff in here but I don't use this program a lot but going over everything it works but it, it feels like it's using my mouth well not the mouse it's using the pen more like it is a mouse cuz check this out using the racer doesn't erase don't like that at all but maybe there's a update coming forward but you you can you can get some work done in this uh touch doesn't work at all it registers fingers and everything so not a good app for drawing if you're using this or maybe someone else knows how to work around for that so maybe that will help you out as far as the next program i i tried to get a program that I've seen a lot of people requesting that they want to try, which is Krita. But uh, what ended up happening is, at one time I could load it and everything was good, but every time I go to create a new, a new uh, layer or create a new working space, it errors out on me and closes out, which I am not sure if that's something to do with the Surface Pro X or the file size that I'm going with. So. I'm gonna try it see if it works and boom closes out on me do not know why it closes out on me but hey i guess it's one of those things that is trying to work with the surface pro x so last but not least it it is is this device worth it personally to me when you draw in the fact that i have the 1619 dollar model the pen and the keyboard no it's not worth it right now the app availability is not there can't use fresco which on my surface book too i'm really loving but it's just not like microsoft made the hardware itself visually pleasing to the eye which i like but i really wish they they could have did the amd in this one they could have put the ARM processor maybe in a different different type of thing because it's not Surface RT because you can run those 32-bit applications, but or I don't want to say it's x86, but you, you you can run those. You can run the different programs, which is great. So it's not as bad as Surface RT because you're not that limited. But for as much horsepower with the two teraflops as they say. It feels like it's it's just not being pushed with this. All the developers will have to update their apps in order for this device to be worth its price tag, in my opinion. So, as it stands, no, although Surface Pro X is gorgeous, I would highly recommend going with the new Surface Pro 7 or the Surface Book 2, as of now, if you're an artist that loves to draw eventually this will go down in price and the apps maybe will be developed better since you see photoshop is uh well adobe is creating all these new applications for touch friendly 
maybe, just maybe, they'll recompile all their apps to work better. But if you're going to use Clip Studio, then this is this is great. If you get the base model, it, it'll be good. But otherwise than that, I it's just a hard thing to recommend for artists. So if you love the video, you like my content, go ahead, thumbs up, hit the bell notification, not oh, can't even speak today. If you hit the bell notification icon to see or get alerted when I upload new videos and yeah, peace.